Wow, the way those people have managed to survive in the outback is amazing. Just look at them and think, their culture has survived since the dawn of man. Are we done watching National Geographic floppy breast special? <laughs> Spanning the globe. To hey, why the roll the floor? Oh, I love watching that skier wipe out. Victory. Here comes the skier. And the agony of defeat. <laughs> <laughs> what happened to the ski guy? Oh, they changed the clip. <laughs> this is better. What a boob! <laughs> that boob is me! That was you. This is so cool. A best friend with the agony of defeat. <laughs> I can't believe they couldn't find anybody more ridiculous than me. I thought they spanned the globe. Norm, it'll be okay. No, no, it won't. Everybody's gonna see this. Right now, the whole country's laughing at me. The whole country is not laughing at you. What about all those people with no sense of humor at all? They don't laugh at anything. <laughs> Too bad that you're not as smart as you thought you were in the first place. Too bad that you had to get caught. That's not like you to lose face. So sad that you're not as smart as you thought you were in the first place. Too bad. Too bad. Too bad. Too bad. Too bad. Too bad. Norm, don't. It, it doesn't do you any good laying here getting all depressed. Not depressed. Come on, let's see a smile. Who wants to see the white guy dance, huh? Who wants to see the white guy dance, huh? <laughs> You're never gonna date me now, are you? No. As a matter of fact, you just turned me gay. <laughs> understand why you care. You didn't care at all about your image when you were known as a gambler and a tax evader. Because that is cool. <laughs> now, for the rest of my life, till the day I die, I'm gonna be remembered as the guy who scored a goal with his ass. Oh, I'm sure that's wrong. They'll be showing that tape long after you're dead. <laughs> Lori, could you please leave and take Danny and that angry lesbian with you? Now, come on, I'm not gonna let you give up. I wanna see some fight in you. Sit no, up, come on. I no. wanna see you fight. Now, fight back. No, no, come on, fight no, me. Fight no. back, fight back. <laughs> you hit a girl! <laughs> Norm, if you wanna fix your reputation, then get back on the ice. I can't, I'm banned. The only way I could skate again is if I joined the ice capades. <laughs> There's a, a charity game at the garden next month. You know, maybe the hockey board will give you an exemption so you can play in that. Oh, you think they'd let me play? It's worth a shot. If you're honest about how badly you want it, they might respect that. Yeah, yeah, I'm gonna go down there and just tell the truth. <laughs> and so, members of the review board, as you consider my temporary reinstatement into hockey, I ask that you weigh only the facts and ignore my devastating illness. <laughs> that I battle each and every day with the help of my Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Uh, would, uh, would any of you care to pet my dog? they wouldn't let you play in one stupid game. Yeah, I know. And this time, they banned Wiener Dog for life, too. <laughs> Listen, uh, they said that I wasn't worthy of reinstatement, so I was thinking that, uh, you know, since you trained me in social work, uh, maybe you could go down there and testify on my behalf. Uh, yeah. Come on, you, no. can tell them, you can tell them all the good things that I've done, all the people I've helped since I've been here. Uh, you know I love you. Oh, thanks. But I can't lie. I mean, I have to maintain my credibility in order to testify on behalf of my clients. Ah, uh, come on. If I had any credibility, I'd destroy it for you. <laughs> well, it'd be different if I had something to work from, you know, like if Danny needed it, I could say, uh, he has placed hundreds of children from broken homes, and he is one of the most uh, empathetic and devoted social workers it's ever been my privilege to work with. <laughs> I have to, uh, sharpen my pencil! 
Come on, Lori. I haven't helped anybody. I, on occasion, you have accidentally helped some delinquent teen by being paraded as an example of a very bad man. But that's not really helping. Okay, fine. You don't want to help me, but maybe you maybe you would like to help a a great American, say uh, Andrew Jackson. Stop that! Stop it! You don't need my testimony anyway. The review board needs to see you helping people, and that's the twenty you borrowed from me this morning. Hey, I can help people. Uh, excuse me, sir. Can can I help you? Is this the parking violations bureau? <laughs> Uh, now, uh, you gotta get in the elevator, go up to the 17th floor, it's the second door on your right. Okay. Hey, there you go, I helped a guy. Parking violations isn't even in this building. Hey, Danny, listen. Come here, man. Okay. I need some help. Uh, what do you go through uh, the new case files for? I'm gonna find somebody to help, you know? I'm gonna, I'm gonna get a high-profile case, so we'll get a lot of media attention, and then the Hockey Review Board will think that I'm a good social worker. Let me see. Crack addict. Crack addict. Crack addict. Crack addict. Jeez, does anybody know there's some kind of crack problem in this city? Oh, this one's terrible. An old man, uh, locked in a closet by his kids. Now, now he's riding away in a city shelter. Oh, wow. Oh, my God. This guy's in one of the most horrible situations I've ever seen. So I hope nobody's helped him yet. <laughs> I can get in a lot of trouble for bringing a reporter down to a city shelter like this, but I feel that this case deserves to be highly publicized. Wait a second. I know you. Aren't you the new agony of defeat? <laughs> yeah. Uh, actually, you know, funny thing is, I actually promised a dying child I'd score a goal on my ass. <laughs> you're up to. I need to talk to you right now. <laughs> yeah, this is Lori. She's one of the many social workers that I, I train. I need to ask Norm a question about a lecture he gave on moving irrational children by the teeth. Was it like this? <laughs> Listen to me. I know how important it is for you to play in that game, but I'm here to make sure that your grandstanding doesn't get in the way of helping this poor old man. All right, fair enough, but I'm here to make sure that you're helping this old man does not get in the way of my grandstand. <laughs> okay, it's showtime. Come on. Mr. Sullivan, my name is Norm Henderson. I am from the Department of Social Services. How are they treating you, sir? Fine. Really? Uh, you, don't, you don't have any complaints? They haven't tied you up into the bed or anything? <laughs> Well, they forgot my fruit cup at lunch. Aha! Yeah, that's how it starts. Next comes the beatings. Mr. Sullivan, do you want to tell us what exactly went on at your daughter's house? She stole my social security check, hit me with hangers, and locked me in the closet. Damn it, that's the worst thing I've ever heard. Actually, it does sound sort of bad when you think about it. <laughs> I gotta be honest with you, as serious as all this sounds, it sounds like just another story of elderly abuse. Yeah, well, that's where you're wrong. You see, I'm gonna use unconventional methods, that's right. Like that uh, Dr. Patch Adams from the motion picture. You know, you know with that guy Mork in it? <laughs> I don't care how long it takes or how many articles you have to write about me. I promise you this, sir. You will not spend one more night in this hellhole. Can I stay with you? <laughs> What? He's moving in with you? That's a great story. <laughs> yeah, that's a great story. Uh, uh, you know what another great story is? Uh, get this. Uh, an idealistic young social worker finds an unfortunate old man, and uh, he takes him over to the Red Lobster, which I pay for. <laughs> yeah. And then afterwards, I would bring him back here uh, with a brand new blanket. Again, that's all on me. <laughs> But there's nothing here for me to write about. Fine, I'll take him home with me. <laughs> yeah, come on, get a picture here, huh, would you, buddy? Now, make it clear in the article that this is about my fight for the respect and dignity of old people. <laughs> hey, what do you think there, pal? Teeth in, teeth out. What do you think about that? <laughs> hey, Sal, I'd like you to meet uh, all my coworkers. Hey, everybody. This is Sal, my old guy. 
Hello, uh, Mr. Sullivan, I presume? Yeah. Sal, this is uh, my boss, Mr. Denby. He's your age. <laughs> Norm, I don't like to see you show compassion. Makes me look bad for hating you. You're right, Norm. He does have a rat-like face. <laughs> Listen, Henderson, do your job. Just do your job. And I don't want any more calls from the papers asking me how to spell your name, okay? Is that understood? And by the way, I have my mother's face. <laughs> it's ten minutes later, Norm. I'd like to try peeing again. You two seem to be getting along. Yeah, yeah, he's a great guy. Excuse me, can we start the paperwork so we can get Mr. Sullivan placed in a proper home? Uh, yeah, don't worry about that. I did all that. You did? You didn't, see me. Yeah, I did. I did a lot of other things, too. Like, uh, uh, did you know that if you get an old person in your place, you can get all this cool stuff from the government for free? Like, I got, uh, I got an oxygen tank, you know? <laughs> You actually got him in-home visits from the state nurse? That is above and beyond the call of duty. I'm very proud of you, Norm Henderson. Oh, yeah? Oh, thanks, Laura. Yeah, you know, I gotta admit, I started out just using him, you know, but it turns out he's a great old guy, you know? We do everything together, man. We watch the History Channel, you know? He calls it the news. Norm, look, here's the article on Mr. Sullivan. Oh, my God, the article came out. Oh, hey, I'm not even in the picture. Oh, my, I put them on my shoulders for nothing. <laughs> blah, 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 blah. Here it is. If the system can't handle them, I'll take them into my own home, said crusading social worker Norm Hintergrass. <laughs> Mr. Danby. Yes, Norm. I thought you said that they called you about the correct spelling of my name. This says Hintergrass. Well, sure. In case this blows up, I gave them the wrong name so it wouldn't trace it back to my department. And the word hintergrass. It makes me laugh. Ah, <laughs> oh, man, I'm screwed. I can't take this stupid article to the review you, board. You don't need the article, Norm. You can have Sal here testify directly on your behalf. Sure, I'll do it. Oh, great. Great. Okay, Lori, you're going to have to help me on this. Uh, what lie should we have him tell? Oh, you don't need any lies. No, you did a really good thing all on your own. Uh, yeah, okay, I get it. We're gonna pretend like I did a good thing. No, you really did a good thing. You're going too fast for me. Norm, <laughs> you helped another person. Yes, okay, good. So the lie is gonna be, I helped another person. Yeah, well, you actually helped another person. Well, then why don't we just say that? I mean... <laughs> You look great. What time is the hearing? Hearing is 3 o'clock. And uh, don't worry, because with the help of a little oxygen, you're going to be as sharp as a tack for that review board. <laughs> <sighs> oh, wow. Ha, I just remembered where I left my uh, Lincoln Logs in fifth grade. In 1938, I killed a hobo. You killed a hobo? It was a different time. <laughs> yeah, hello. Hello, Mr. Henderson. <laughs> Gee, Sal, uh, you gotta remember to turn down the old guy amplifier on this thing. <laughs> hello? Oh, great. Oh, that's great news. Thanks a lot. Yeah, we'll be in touch. Sal, I got great news, man. I got you placed in the best retirement home in all of New York State. But I live with you. Oh, well, that's sweet there, Sal. Yeah, and I love having you here and everything. But uh, you'd have much more fun there, you know. These joints, the ratio of women to men is like five to one. Good-looking guy like you, man, you can have sex with as many wrinkled old women as you want. If I wanted to have sex with something old and wrinkled, I'd use my hand. Sal, buddy, you know, 
You know you can't live here forever. My daughter and her husband tried to put me in a home, and so I spun a little tale about an old man being locked in a closet. You, you framed your own daughter? What are you doing in there? What do you mean what I'm doing in here? You're beating me with a hanger, that's it. Oh, oh. So, well, why, why are you doing this? In case the cops give me a lie detector test, I'm going to tell them that you beat me. That ought to go over real well with the Hockey Review Board. Oh, that's crazy. Nobody's ever going to believe I abused an old man. All right, I'm coming out to call the Review Board. What? Get back in there. Well, we're ready to go to the review board. I couldn't stop telling Danny on the way over what a great job you're doing with Sal. Oh, well, great. Okay, let's go. Well, wait a second. Where is he? Uh, Sal? Oh, uh, uh, he died. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he's old. He died. Old guys die. So let's go. Okay. I'm locked in the closet. <laughs> he's alive. <laughs> what the hell's going on in here? Norm beat me and he locked me in the closet. That's not true. That's not true. He locked himself in the closet. <laughs> Please call the police. I had to do it. He lied about his kids beating him. He lied about his kids? Yes, yes. And he was going to lie about me. And now I have no character witness for the hockey review board. And I'm starting to have a panic attack. And, and I can't get to my nutter butters because there's an old man locked in my pantry. They're delicious. I'll kill you. you right. No, just stop. Listen to me. Listen to me. We cannot keep him in there. Oh, yeah. Sure we can. That, that lock is very sturdy. No, that's not what I mean. It's just, it's not right. Lori, if we let him out, he's going to run to the review board and tell him I abused him, and all he needs two hours. Okay, let me talk to him. Mr. Sullivan, this is Lori. Now, I know you didn't mean to do anything to hurt Norm, so I'm going to let you out. We're going to talk about this calmly and rationally. No one's going to hurt you. I'm going to put that SOB in jail. Get in there! Oh, yeah. <laughs> you know, two hours isn't going to kill him. So, you watch him. Let's go. Come on. Members of the board, as you can see, I brought my esteemed colleague, Lori Freeman, who will now uh, testify on my behalf. Um, if I could just uh, confer with her for one moment. Unbutton one button. What? <laughs> I'm just saying, you have a great body. Use it. You really think... No, stop that. <laughs> Members of the board, I am here today to talk on behalf of Norm Henderson, a man who has done something that I have frankly never seen another social worker do before. A man who took an abused and needy client into his own home. Yeah, yeah, and this was a, a decrepit old man, you know. It wasn't like a hot 16-year-old runaway with a great rack or anything. <laughs> Well, uh, we need to hear from this man directly. Where is he right now? Uh, he's... well, right now. <laughs> that... Um... Oh, oh, he's at Norm's place. Are you undressing, Miss Freeman? No, I just... Norm, why don't you tell them about uh, yourself? You can... Do they? And it's very hot in here! Uh, 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 look, uh, I'll tell you, you know, I should have done this at the trial, probably. I, I just want to tell you guys that, uh, you know, me gambling the sport and everything, I know I dishonored Hawk, you know, I just want to tell you that, uh, I'm sorry. Norm, I'd, uh, I'd like to read from the transcript of your trial. I'm not sorry, I'll never be sorry, and if I ever say I'm sorry, I'm lying. But I'm not lying. I was just lying then. I swear to God, I'm not lying now. And if I ever say I was just lying then, but I swear to God I'm not lying now, I'm lying. Oh, well, fine. Then I'd like my apology stricken from the record. Now, just well, look, look, don't take him back because he helped somebody. Don't take him back because he apologized. Don't take him back because he learned a lesson. Take him back because he's pathetic. Everywhere he goes, 
was people laugh at him because of that stupid wide world of sports thing. That was you? I didn't know that was you. My kids love that. Yeah, of course kids love that. He's a fool, a boob, an idiot. He has some delusion that if he gets back into the game and makes some spectacular play, he'll save his reputation. But we all know what's going to happen. He's going to fall on his ass. <laughs> That's where the smart money is. That's right. So all the people will probably come to the charity game because they want to see the agony guy break his neck. Right, and ticket sales have been a little slow. So yeah, all right. Here's the deal. If uh, either team will take you, this board will reinstate you for one game, no more. Well, thank you. Thank you, gentlemen. And uh, I'll do everything I can to make you ashamed of me. You have it, Norm! And listen, thanks for all your help. I know how hard it was for you to lie like that. When did I lie? Well, you know, when you called me a boob. I didn't lie. Well, you called me a fool. I didn't lie. You called me an idiot. I didn't lie. You lied! Sal, Norm. I know you said we were going to go to the uh, home together, but you're going to have to go in a separate car. You can't do that. It, it screws up all my arrangements. I can't go either, Sam. <laughs> I'm not going to the home, am I? I tell my daughter it was only business. I always liked her. She understands that. Excuse me, Sal. Oh, can you get me off the hook? You know, for old times' sake. Can't do it, Sally. <laughs> 